Hey, how you doing? Welcome to TGAT Revit. I am Thomas Garvin, and we're going to take a look today at uh, how to get the content library for Revit 2025. Autodesk have changed it up a little bit. It's not complicated, but we'll go through the steps now. Let's go. In your internet browser, go to autodesk.com, then sign in. Okay, when you've signed in, click on the user icon at the top of the screen and go to product updates and select. Now, this will take a moment to load. Under product updates, the filter is automatically set for the past three months, okay? So releases over the past three months. So you may not find what you're looking for unless you change that. So I'm gonna change that to, I guess, six months, or it could be all, six months. And I'm gonna enter in the search bar, content for Revit. Now we get lots of results for different languages, of course. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down to the one I'm looking for, which is English, uh, UK English content for Revit 25. I'm going to download by clicking on download. Uh, this will take a moment. Now, depending on your, how you have your browser set up, you may, ha you may have a default download folder, which is probably downloads, okay? Or it'll ask you for a folder to download into. Just be aware where you're down downloading it to. I selected uh, downloads, okay? and save. All right, go to the folder where you downloaded the installer file. It's probably in your downloads folder. Uh, and double click on the file, okay? That's all you have to do. It'll initialize, you'll see it, it'll install the, the content library, okay? When that's done, you go back to, Le uh, to, to, to Revit, okay? Go back to Revit, and we're gonna just make sure it's there. I'll show you where to find it. If you go to uh, File, and Options, and go to File Locations. At the bottom of this screen, we have a button for places, okay? So click on places, and we get this. This is places, or shortcuts, okay? So metric library, there it is, the file path. That's installed, that'll be there. If it's not, stick a message in the in the uh, chat box there. Uh, these ones I added, and you can add a shortcut to, uh, to a library or to a, a folder or whatever, and I'll show you how that's handy in a moment, okay? You do it simply by clicking on the green button, add, give it a name, uh, my stuff, let's say. So that's the name of it. And then I'm going to put the file path as, uh, what, maybe this PC. Downloads. Okay, open. Now, obviously, I don't want that. But if I click OK on that and OK, I'll show you where that's useful. Okay, so if I go to my architecture tab and just, for example, maybe click on component, and load family, I get my Windows menu, okay? So it's going to UK men sorry, UK library by default, but if you check here in the margin, where it says metric library, I also have my families, TGAT, and my stuff, which was the shortcut to the downloads folder in this case. So it's handy, it's a quick shortcut to your whatever folder, your own library, your own file path to where you save stuff. If it's looking, you might find it useful. I hope you got what you needed out of that. And look, if you did find it useful and it answered your question, don't forget to put a like, uh, comment. And if you haven't already, you know what to do. Subscribe. See you in the next one, guys.